In Tableau 2020.3, Tableau have added some improvements to where you can find background maps in the menu options. Right now I'm in 2020.2. You can see that here in this um, information box just uh, on the screen. I'm going to close this and I'm going to head over to Map. And previously, what you had to do with background maps is head over to this option and head down to Manage Apps. Once you'd open that, you'd get this Map Services box. And in here, you'd have to hit the Add button to get to the mapping servers that you wanted to add. In this case, I want to add a map box map. I'd then get my uh, star name. So I'd say, uh, call this custom for now. I then need to switch over to map box. And if I just do that uh, very quickly, I'm gonna have to uh, bring this in uh, from another screen. I'm gonna just grab the URL, the integration URL here. I've got a third party uh, selector selected here and I'm gonna grab this URL. Then I'm gonna go back to Tableau, make sure I go back to the right version of Tableau for starters. Um, I think this is the right version. Let me just double check. Um, this is 2020.3. Let's go back to 2020.2. And then here, when I paste the URL, uh, it actually pre-fills all the other fields. I hit okay. And now you see my map has changed instantly. If I hit close and I switch over to 2020.3, which I can now see has got the old map, um, this is slightly different. The map options has actually moved. So previously, when I went to background maps, I didn't have a direct option to add map box maps uh, from here. So I can just go ahead, click that button. And when I add the star URL this time, you'll notice, um, actually that's the star name. I should just uh, cut that, just enter the URL here add the star name here, custom, uh, click OK. And that's all you need to do. It's a really, really simple process. So it's really, again, another quality of life improvement, updating that interface to be slightly more modern um, and making it easier to add custom maps uh, to Tableau. Okay, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do. If you haven't enjoyed this video, uh, let us know in the comments what you'd like to see more of and be sure to check out some of the other videos on 2020.3 and also some of the older videos on previous releases of Tableau. Thank you for watching.